like even after insurance I still can't afford what I need done and this is the greatest thing that's actually you know come along here to me in a long time. This is a great thing that they're doing here so it's kind of hard not to take advantage of it. I'm here to get my teeth fixed. Been here sitting here since Wednesday evening around 9 p.m. I've been here since 3. Can't take them enough. It's just amazing that there's such nice people out there that'll do that for people like us that don't have insurance and it's just a nice, warm, amazing feeling. These people must be fantastic just to come here and volunteer their time and their effort and to, to help others that can get what they need. It really means a lot. I think it's excellent what they're doing here. I can't wait to get in there. This is going to change my whole life. These people stayed out all night long just to get their dental work taken care of. It's not that they just woke up this morning with the toothache. Their teeth have hurt for months. I'm deeply impressed by the volunteer services. Over a thousand people coming together to help those who truly need dental care. We have two and a half years in planning for this mission and we have, have countless meetings for this. Mission of Mercy is an event where we are able to reach out to the people in the community who probably don't have access to dental care. And it's an opportunity for us to provide care for them. We're providing dental services to hundreds of people today that wouldn't have the opportunity to get care. We want to provide whatever is possible in one day to do for the patient. We have two kids with chronic asthma, so we spend so much money on medical that we just don't have enough for dental. I don't have dental insurance. I haven't been able to have that for quite a few years. My goal is that when I leave here tomorrow, that I have a perfectly good smile. So I can look at my grandkids and my kids and actually smile at them. My teeth are missing and I had new dentures put in. I feel much better about myself. It's life changing. When I came in today, my front teeth were blackened and now they're not. I had all my front teeth filled because they are all black and discolored. I had my teeth cleaned and I feel wonderful. I came here today because I have been missing top of my front teeth and I wanted to fill them in because I wanted to smile and it just brings me down on my self-confidence. Here's the mirror so you can see yourself. They look good, they look great. Wow, it feels oh, awesome. Nice. Nice. Now that I got their smile, it's wow. <laughs> you know, everybody's taking a picture, you want to hide, and I want to be right there just smiling away, you know. The experience today has been a real honor for me. I feel very blessed by what these patients are saying. He just kept hugging me and saying thank you, and thank you to all the volunteers, and thank you all for everything that you're doing. There was a woman back in restorative today that had badly broken down front teeth. The dentist took care of her in, in probably less than a half an hour. She sat up out of the chair and the smile just extended from ear to ear. She turned to the doctor who was helping her and said, thank you, you've changed my life. If it wasn't for the donors, both cash and in-kind donors, there's no way we could have put on this project. Our board of directors was really honored to partner with the Minnesota Dental Association. The fact that we can work together on an event that's already today reached 700 people is just staggering and so important. I'm amazed by how many people are being treated and it reminds me of the deep needs that are still out there, especially in rural Minnesota where it can be hard to find a dentist and we certainly have folks here who simply can't afford dental care. So what we need to do is develop a program of supporting people for early access to dental care, no matter who they are, no matter where they are, and no matter what their economic capacity is to achieve that. Some of the healthcare policies that we have sometimes makes it harder for our young dentists that are graduating from school to go out and locate themselves in these greater Minnesota communities. So I think we need to look at that. We need to go back in January to the Capitol and take a serious look at increasing the overhead reimbursement. So the state has to be a better partner. I think Mission of Mercy is just scratching the surface of the, the needs that are out there, but it's a start and it's something that can make a difference in people's lives. A lot of people travel out of the country and do mission work and that's a wonderful thing to do. I look at our neighbors, our friends, and they need just as much help. So this is a way to give back something that's been given to us. 
I think that it's important to know that not everybody lives the same way that we live or that has the same opportunities that we have. It keeps me grounded in the knowledge that I'm here to help people. It's important for us to, to be able to give back to the community. So many people have given to me throughout my life and this is a way that I can give back to the individuals in the Mankato area, for example. It's overwhelming to me to see the people and the community gathering together to help the people in need. This whole event and all of you guys is just absolutely amazing. It really is. It means a lot to me and a lot of other people that are here. I can't describe it in words how nice everybody has been. I'm the happiest guy in the world. Well, now I can go to work tomorrow and smile with my teeth showing. <laughs> I want to cry because I know it's a blessing for me to be here. My bottom of my heart, thank you very much. Thank you from the bottom of our heart. It really means a lot.